Hi everyone and welcome back to Turn to Data. So in this video, we will cover the last four questions of Danny's Diner SQL challenge. I have already done three videos covering questions up to question number eight. You can check it out on my videos page. So let's get started with the remaining questions. So we have four questions in total. Here is the ninth question for you. That is, if each $1 spent equates to 10 points and Sushi has a 2x points multiplier, how many points would each customer have? So in this query, we are going to uh, see, uh, see a new concept of uh, case statements. Okay, Case statements are used whenever you have uh, something uh, known as a uh, when then or if else. All right. So if, if there is a condition given to you, how do you uh, create a output from that? That's how uh, case statements work for you. So let me write the query for you. Uh, at first, you may think that, you know, this is, this, this is a slightly complex query, but it is not to be, uh, you know, to be honest, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's just that you need to understand the syntax of the case statement. All right. Let's see how this is done. So you can start with the select statement. What I usually do is I also type in the table name from which I'm going to fetch some of the columns. So I will uh, need the customer ID, the product name and the price. Okay. Uh, so for that, I'm going to mention the tables menu and sales. Okay. And I'm going to join them like this. All right. Now, if you are seeing this video for the first time, uh, don't worry. You can check out the previous three videos that will give you uh, a lot of understanding in terms of what this entire case study is about, what the tables are, how you can access the tables. And I will also leave, uh, you know, the table creation script and the insertion scripts in the description. All right. So the reason why I uh, write from uh table names and you know join them wherever necessary is so that when you start typing a select statement you you don't have to type the entire name of the column now for example i need the customer id right so i'll say customer i just need to type in cus and the uh, auto populate uh, feature shows me the actual name of the column all right so that's how if you are working with a very large table and you have too many columns this uh, comes in very handy okay so s is the alias that we have given to sales column sales table okay so i need the customer id then i need the product name what else do i need i also need the price here okay now these three uh, are pretty uh, available with us this is uh, pretty ready made for us what we also need is a condition where if the product is sushi then it gets two times the points for all other purchases uh, the product gets 10 points but if a customer has purchased a sushi the customer gets 10 points multiplied by two okay that's why it's called a 2x points multiplier all right so how do we do that for that you can use a case statement okay you type in case and then you type in the condition. So I'm going to say when my product name is sushi, S-U-S-H-I in small, always check uh, the you know, case sensitivity of your uh, string that you are going to use. If it is sushi, then what I want to do is the price that I want to show should be twice the actual points that you're giving to everyone. Okay, so you're giving 10 points to everyone, but if it's sushi, I want into two. Okay, now there is an else statement. Else is nothing but what are you going to give to the other customers who don't purchase sushi, which is basically price into 10. Okay, so what it does is it gives you three columns plus a new column, which will work based on this condition. Okay, and how do you end a, a case statement? You type in end. And you can give it a alias so this new column will be called as points okay that's all we are doing here now this is done and you have joined the tables now let's see uh, what it shows us 
Okay, so it gives us a purchase by purchase, right? So for A, it's giving us the dish name, uh, price of the dish and the points. So if you notice closely, for sushi, uh, the price is 10. So ideally the points should be 100, but we are doing a two times multiplier. That's why it's 200. Okay, for other, let's say curry, it's 15, the price is 15. So the points is 15 into 10 only. Only for sushi, if you see, it will be multiplied by 2, right? Okay, so I hope you get the point. What it, what the question basically is, how many points would each customer have? Okay, so now you, you are obviously able to see the points uh, for uh, dish by dish, but if you want to sum up the points, how do you do that? For that, what you have to do is, you just put everything that you just figured out in a common table expression. Common table expression is nothing but a CTE. Okay, so you say with, I'm just naming it as, C, as CTE. When you are actually uh, working on a real project, it's better to uh, name your common table expression as a uh, real table. So let's say, uh, what is the output of this particular, uh, you know, particular query, right? This entire query. So you can probably name the table as that. Uh, just for example, I'm going to say uh, points points table or anything like that, right? And you can say points table as to start the parenthesis. And once your query is done, you close the parenthesis, okay? You can do this. If not, just for the sake of understanding this, I'm just putting it as CTE, okay? Doesn't matter. The name doesn't matter. But it matters when you're uh, trying to make sense in a business setting. Okay, next is I'm going to select what, what do I want? I just want the customer ID and I want the total points. So I'm going to say select customer ID and I want the points. Now points, how do I want it? I want the sum of the points. Okay, so sum of points and I will name these points as total points. From where do I want it? From the CTE. And one more thing to notice here is, since you are using an aggregate function that is sum, okay, you need to use the group by statement. Group by is nothing but your customer ID. Okay, now let me just select this entire query and run it. Click on execute. There you go. So A, B, C, you have your points. So it seems uh, B either has ordered a lot of items or B has ordered a lot of sushis that's why it has the highest number of points uh, i mean that is not the question but still okay so this is how you do question number nine moving on let's go to our next question that is question number 10 okay let me just put in some space here okay the question is in the first week after a customer joins the program okay including their join date Joins the program as in when they become a member. Okay. So you have your members table. In the first week, they earn two times the points on all items, not just sushi. Got it? So when the customer uh, joins the program, they earn two times the points that they earn on all items, not just sushi. How many points do customer A and B have at the end of January? The reason why it is not asking us for points for C is because C is not a member. If you had noticed our previous queries, okay. So we just need to find out how many points they have at the end of January. So there are multiple things to notice here. It wants us at the end of January. This is one thing to note, okay. And it also says in the first week after a customer joins. This is very crucial, okay. So these are the two most crucial uh, conditions given here. Rest point systems, you are already aware how to provide points. So let's get that started. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to say select. All right. I need the customer ID. All right. I also need the name of the product. What else do I need? I need the price. Okay. I need the order date. And I also need the join date okay so you may wonder why i'm not using m s or whatever alias before this you only need to use an alias where you 
think that you know so i'm using an alias here because customer id is part of sales table as well as the menu table okay that's why i'm using customer id specifically with s dot order date and join date are only available in the members table or in the sales table okay so they uh, they are not common columns across tables that's why i'm not using any alias here all right so we have joined it now what we want is we so there are two conditions right in the first week after a customer joins the program so let's see how we can get that so i will say case and i'm going to say when so when the order date is between the join date and the and seven days after the join date right in the first week after a customer joins the program so you need to count seven days after a customer joins. How do you do that? There is a very simple uh, technique to that. You can say when s dot order date is between. Okay, you just type in between, and then you give two date uh, instances. So I'm going to say join date. Okay, I can probably just for the sake of it if you want i can just say nb dot join date okay and i'll come down here i'll define my tables from menu m join sales s and i will then join members mb okay i'll put in the on statement later on so i'm going to say when order date is between the join date and what do you want to say there is something called as date add there's a function known as date add okay where you can mention the number of days that you want to track all right so this uh, basically says when the order date is between join date and seven days from the join date Okay, which basically gives us the in the first week after a customer joins the program. Okay, this is done. So what happens if this is the case? If this is the case, then they get two times the multiplier. Okay, the points are multiplied by two. When the product name is sushi, okay, then also you get two times the points which is nothing but our previous condition all right and if this is not the case then only a multiplier of 10 is given now this is done how do you end it you just type in end and you can probably name this as points okay and now i'm saying from menu m i'm joining sales i need a condition which is which is what so ignore this result tab at the bottom this is for the previous query uh, on this will be i think product id yeah product id equals m dot product id okay so this is done and we then join members with sales s dot customer id equals mb dot customer id one more thing you have to notice here is uh, the question says at the end of january how do you figure this out whether it's the end of january or not end of january is nothing but you know uh, in our uh, tables you can notice that all orders starts in january okay and all the join dates are in january so it's easier to figure out january if it was if it was not January, then you may have some trouble finding it out. But since we already know how the tables are, I'm just going to say where order date is less than February 1st. Okay. So that will include January for us. So how do you type February? Just make sure you follow the date formatting, however it is given. Okay. So this is how the formatting is this is first of feb month is at the middle here is at the starting and day is the end okay 
All right. So now let's see if this subquery of us works or not. We have to also find out, you know, the entire total points at the end. But before that, let's see if this works or not. Okay. So basically what you have here is points for A and B. C is not included. That's fine. You have points for sushi, 200 points. Then somewhere you might have, yeah, for curry, you have 300 points. Why? Because uh, the join date is join date and the order date is the same so it is within one week okay that's why point multiplier is two times and similarly here right 12 you have the price is 12 but the uh, total points is 240 that is 12 into 10 into 2 all right now if you see this price is 15 but uh, points is 150 only that is multiplier of 10 only 15 into 10 why is that because the join date is uh, join date is 9th of january but the order date was before that all right so it is not in the first week after a customer joins okay that's why it is only 150 so the query works now we only need to find out the total points for that we can just put this entire query in a CTC just like we did last time. Okay. And let me just close the CT. Okay. Let me just press tab so it looks cleaner. Okay. The CT is done. And at the end, you just type in your select statement where you are calculating the sum of all these points. Okay. Very similar to the previous query. Total points from CTE. And what we do is we group it by because we are using a aggregate function. All right, now I will run this entirely together. Execute it and there you go. So A has more points, B has less points and this is what you wanted from question number 10. All right. Moving on to the next question, which is question, which, which are the next two bonus questions. So bonus question number 11. All right. All right. Let me come here. Yeah. So it says determine the name and price of the product ordered by each customer on all orders and find out whether the customer was a member on the order date or not. So we all we need to find out is whether the customer was a member on the order date or not so it's, it can be a yes or a no you can print a yes or a no as a new column okay again uh, if you have noticed the previous query this this is very similar to the previous query so you can use a case statement and uh, it's pretty straightforward so in you know you need the name you need the price okay on all order date so you need the order date as well let's get started so i'm going to type in select you need the customer ID, you need the order date. Next you need is the product name and the price. What else do you need? You need a case statement which tells you whether the customer was a member on the order date or not. So how do we find that out? Basically, you need to check whether the join date is less than or equal to the order date or whether the join date was before the order date or not. For that, you just type in join date. Ignore this MB for now. Uh, I've yet to, you know, declare the tables, I write the from statement. So the MB will make more sense when I write the from statement. Okay. So you need to find out whether the join date was less than or equal to order date. If it was the case, you type in yes or a y. Else, you just type in an n for a no. Okay. You end it and you can name it as member. Okay, member. Members, you can't name it because members is already a table. 
and just start typing in your table names you join it with sales on s dot product id equals m dot product id one crucial thing to note here okay is you need to use a left join now that's because you need to find out the ordered by each customer okay now let's see if i don't use left join i and i go ahead and use join here okay let me show you what happens let me show you what happens so let me just stop finishing stop writing this okay done now if you run this okay go ahead and run this you see only customers a and b are shown but the query says that you have to determine product by each customer okay and find out whether the customer was a member on the date or not so c also should come here and it should mention no against c but why is it not coming that's because you're joining it and you're only finding out common members here okay so you're not trying to find exclusive members okay for that you need to use left join so what it does is basically when you use left join here it says take everything from the sales table okay whoever has ordered take everyone join them with members table okay on this particular parameter if they don't exist doesn't matter you already have a statement to take care of that okay and now let's see you execute it and there you go your c is also there and it says they were not a member on the order date because they are not really a member okay similarly for a they were not a member on these two occasions okay for b similarly and so on so there was your bonus question number one that is question number 11 let's look at the last question which says rank the previous output okay so basically you take the entire output based on the order date of each customer yeah so what it wants us to do basically is take the output from the previous question uh, based on the order date and uh, you can display null if customer was not a member when the dish was ordered straightforward what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a cte all right i'm going to create a cte and i'm going to put this entire query within the cte it says from the previous output okay so half of your query is already done now all you need to write down is the remaining logic okay so this is done what do we want now we want uh, to rank it rank the output based on the order date okay so we have seen how to use the rank uh, uh, function window function so to say and display null if the customer was not a member that's it so you can probably use a case statement to uh, input null here okay let's see how we can do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to say i want everything so select star from the above table that is the ct okay let me just say from cte okay all right from cte what else do i want now i want a rank I want to create a rank how do i do that i can say when let me just hide this results pane okay okay i can say when cte dot member status okay cte dot member status equals y okay sorry not member status it's actually or we can just say member status here yeah that would make more sense yeah so i'm going to say when cte dot member status is yes then what do i want i want a rank function okay and after a rank function you use the over clause in the over clause, I'm going to say partition by 
CTE dot customer ID. All right. And let us also partition by CTE dot member status. Okay. And then we can probably say order it by what do I order it by order it by the order date okay so you say cte dot order date now you can probably run this query without using the cte dot as well i think it doesn't matter okay because anyways you are going to say from cte so let's try to run it this is the first case okay and if the member is member status is not y what do you do you say null okay you just print null here and since we are using a case statement we can say end and name it as ranking all right i hope it makes sense you can reread the query if it doesn't uh, make sense to you right now so going to run this entire thing together let's see okay perfect i think we have got what we wanted so you have your uh, previous query here okay and what we have done is we have selected everything from there when the member status is yes that is let's see member status is yes so whenever it is yes you have a ranking you see here whenever it is yes you have a ranking and if it is no it just says the ranking is null yeah so you basically used a bunch of things all together you know you you have used your window functions your window function which is the rank function you have used case statements you also have used you know uh, a case statement prior to this and today we also made use of the aggregate functions once again so that's basically it i hope you enjoyed this case study uh, you know i would recommend that you practice this practice this one uh, once more and in my upcoming videos i will start with the next case study and we will try to keep it short i know you know i have taken a lot more time that i than i expected but uh, yeah i think we are done here with all the questions uh, what i'll do is uh, in probably two to three days from now once you are done watching this video i will uh, upload a consolidated video which covers the all the questions okay so that will be a long video if you want to you know give it another try in one go just go ahead and watch that video and uh, that's basically it thanks a lot for being uh, here till the end of this video if you are yet to subscribe to the channel uh, please go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button and uh, share it with your friends or colleagues and i'll see you very shortly thank you